Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the region and language of a Nintendo DS. This is my Nintendo DS. This is a Nintendo DS uh, Nintendo 3DS LL well, new Nintendo 3DS LL. This is the Japanese one. It's basically an XL that's what they call it there. You will need to be, you will need to be on a custom firmware for this. Uh, I'm on Luma three Luma um, custom firmware. So I'll show you. There, as I can, as you can see here, I am on custom firmware. Now. Let's do this. First thing you'd need to do is take your S. You need a Phillips screwdriver for this. Make sure your DS is off. On the back, or if you're on the if you're on the new 2DS, you won't have to unscrew this. It'll be in the cartridge port, round about here, underneath the flap. For me, I have to take the screws out. Open it up. And take out the SD card. And pop that into your computer. Here's the root of my SD card. What you need to do is go to your web browser, whatever web browser you want to choose, and go to these two links in the description. Here's the first one. It will automatically ask you to download or automatically download the file. And here's the second one. If for some reason the first two links don't work, I will upload um, other links. Now, the first one is to download region changer uh, the region change region changer RAR file. The second one, we need to get the CTR transfer file for your DS. Now, if you've got an old 3DS, obviously go into the old 3DS and download the relevant um, file. We've got a new 3DS. So, or I've got a new 3DS. So I go new 3DS and I want to change it to um, Europe. So I download the European one and save it. I've already done that. So here it is. Now, what you need to do, uh, first let's open the regionchange.rar. You may need to open this in WinRAR or 7-zip. I think 7-zip can open RAR files. And go to the to root, to SD card root and everything in here onto it. It may ask you to replace. You choose replace. That's that one. Now, open up the CTR transfer file. Here's the two bits that we need. And what you need to do is you need to extract all of this, these two files, to the GM9 folder right here of your SD card. This may take a little time to copy. Now that that's done, you can close the RAR file, downloads folder, and eject 
the micro SD card. Because all you need to do now is put it back into your 3DS. Or 2DS. Like so. At this point, if you want to, you can put the back plate back on. It is recommended, if you are doing something like this, to have your DS plugged into power, just to make sure it doesn't die during any of these processes. Okay. Now what you have to do is hold down start and press the power button to turn your DS on. If for some reason if a menu comes up asking you to select what to boot to, boot to God Mode 9. So what you, if it prompts you to create a central file backup, press A on that. Now, navigate to SD, and then GM9. Select the CTR transfer bin file. CTR NAND options, transfer image to CTR NAND. It will ask you to unlock the SysNAND. You're going to press A for yes, and then enter the combo keys on screen. And then wait for this process to finish. Okay, now that it's complete, you want to press A to continue, and then press B to stop, to not relock the file. Now, you can press B several times, you don't need to, but you can, and then press home, the home button on your DS. Go to scripts and then CTR, tra CTR ticket copy. Press A and then it will ask you to confirm and press A again to confirm. This process will dump all existing apps and games tickets to the SD card. Press A once that's finished. Now press start to reboot your DS. As you can see, the DS is now in English. So we press next, 
Close that. Close that. Now, what we need to do is open up the download play app. So we scroll over to the download play app. Open that. Now that we're in the download play app, you hold L down and select and that'll open up the Rosalina menu. Now we have to go down to miscellaneous options and then switch the HB or homebrew title to current app and press B several times, go home and close the app. And now all we have to do is open it again. And this will open up the Home Rule Launcher. Now don't worry, the effects of this, effects of Rosalina, will revert back to normal once, basically your Home your um, download play app will revert back to normal once you restart the DS. So you won't lose the functionality of your Home Rule Launcher, of your um, download play. Now scroll down to find FBI and open that. Now, you have to navigate to SD, GM9, out, CTR transfer tickets, and first we'll do eShop. Select current directory, install and delete all tickets. It'll ask you if you want to, are you sure you want to do this? You can just yes. And then it will ask you if you want to install titles, install ticket titles from CDN. You don't want to do this, so press B. Now that that's finished, you press A, go back one, press B, and then go into unknown and do the same here. Mine is empty because I didn't have any third-party apps installed, I don't think, or any unofficial apps installed. So what you would normally do is you press A and then click the same install and delete all tickets, A, B, and then it would do that. Now, now that that's done, you press B uh, a couple times until you get back to the FBI main screen and then press start to exit FBI press go home and close download play Now you have your games and apps back, all you have to do is unwrap them. Some apps like this one doesn't have doesn't look like it has a trans translation, so they look a bit weird. Although this one, I'm not sure why it doesn't. But that's easily fixed by just removing and reinstalling the game. Now that that's done, what we need to do now is power off the DS Oops. and then power on the DS while holding start and open God Mode 9 again 
Now we need to navigate to SD card, GM9, and we need to delete the CTR transfer files. So we press X to delete it and press yes to delete to confirm the deletion and do the same to the other one. And now you've done that, you can press start to reboot your console. Now, there are a few other things you need to do. Go to settings, other settings, profiles, region settings, and then change the region, region to wherever you are. It's recommended. So there. Last thing to do would be to go to the end and do a system update to make sure you're on the latest version on your DS. Now that you've done the system update, you should be on the latest version. At the time of this video, this is 11.6.0-39. And you're all done. Hope you found this interest, um, useful and interesting if you're just watching it because you want to. Thanks for watching.